Hey guys, welcome to the Book and Movie channel. Welcome back to all my subscribers. You are also very much cherished and appreciated. If you're new here, I upload once a week and the topic of this channel is film adaptations of books, sometimes video games, sometimes vice versa. And this week it's a movie to book comparison of Dead Poet Society. And one of the handful of movies were the late, great Robin Williams defies convention and challenges the status quo, but more on that later. For the most part, the book and the movie are a spot-on match as far as story, characters, and sequence of events go. The movie adds a few splashes of vibrance here and there as John Keating's message of Carpe Diem takes root and grows within the minds and hearts of his students. The scene with uh, some of the students dancing and pretend sword fighting and riding a bike through a huge flock of geese are not in the book, but they do deliver that message. What is only in the book is the internal thought processes and feelings that only words can deliver. The back cover sells the story as the Todd Anderson show. But the first page makes it very clear that this is the Neil Perry show, starting with the, this commencement ceremony that he doesn't want to be at, led by these humorless old fossils who run the school that he doesn't want to grow up to be. Then the story spreads out a bit after the first of Keating's lessons really sinks in, and they begin to go after what they want. They reopen the Dead Poet Society in this little cave as a sanctuary and support system. And then Neil finally realizes his genuine interests and is bitten by the acting bug. And just as he finds himself and his joy, it's all snuffed out and buried by his father, whose intentions are understandable. He wants his son to make it in life and never have to do without or want for anything. But the delivery of it sucks, as it is received as a demand to turn himself off and live out the rest of his life as one of those colorless old bats and work a career that he doesn't that doesn't interest him in the least. Trigger and spoiler warning here, going to military school and then medical school to be a doctor when he really wants to be an actor sounds like a fate worse than death. And so he chooses death, and John Keating, with his message of carpe diem, becomes the convenient scapegoat for this, and is fired, but not forgotten. And like I said before, this is not the only movie where a central character, played by Robin Williams, was one to defy convention and bring humanity back to where it had been forgotten. Anyone see Patch Adams, based on a true story about a medical student? who found himself surrounded by medical students and doctors who forgot they were human and weren't treating their patients like human beings with feelings either. And his character defied that. Anyone see Awakenings? Also based on a true story about a doctor who woke up patients who had been comatose and catatonic for up to 30 years with experimental drugs. And this subgenre of convention defiers isn't isolated to just the men folk either. Anyone see Mona Lisa Smile? Not exactly a true story, but a good one where Julia Roberts' character teaches a bunch of 1950s students at a snobby housewife school that also happens to teach pre law and physics and all that other silly stuff to defy convention and a female character similar to Neil Perry doesn't die in the end. She instead divorces her cheating husband and starts blazing her own trail. And the lessons in all of them are the same. Very heartwarming, even if all the outcomes were not. One, that you're the one who has to live your life. Two, don't be too busy getting ahead in life to be a human being and enjoy life. And three, uh, piggybacking on number one, the hopes and dreams that our families may have for us may not be allowed to grow into monstrously proportioned demands and expectations. 
And that is all I have for Dead Poet Society and the other movies inspired by it. But not all for Robin Williams. They really broke the mold when they made him. And he truly is one of a kind and will never be forgotten. Thank you all so much for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, sponsor. And I'll see you back next week for V for Vendetta.